Russia a rising economy? Never, especially now. Since 2014, when Russia annexed Crimea and invaded eastern Ukraine, the Kremlin has commanded the economy like a fortress under siege, building up reserves, decoupling from the world economy and preparing for the potential impact of Western sanctions or fluctuations in oil prices. This fortress is effective at protecting against outside shocks, but inside its walls it breathes stagnation and malaise which fuel Alexei Navalny's opposition movement and the protests against Vladimir Putin, Russia's president. It's about stability, not development, or more specifically about control, says Natalia Zubarovich, an economist and geographer. They won't let the economy die, but in this system development is impossible. Before we proceed, please like the video to help YouTube learn your preferences, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to turn on the bell notification feature to stay up to date on new videos. Thank you. Yet the Russian economy has proved quite resilient to war and sanctions. However, things turned out differently. The sharp decline in imports, bans on foreign currency exports, and a requirement for exporters to sell foreign currency earnings led to a sharp appreciation of the ruble, while state aid to banks and companies enabled them to keep up investment levels. Sanctions against Russian exports, extremely important in the medium and long term, proved ineffective in the short term because high energy prices continued to fill the state's coffers. The September-October enlistment drive has done to the Russian economy what the West's sanctions have so far failed to do. The real estate market, demand for credit, and consumer sentiment all show a noticeable decline. Absent oil and gas revenues, the federal budget would be in deep deficit. Russia's brainwashed citizens are starting to suspect that the war is eating away at their well-being. The recession will continue in 2023. In today's video, we will explain why Russia is not a rising economy not now. Russia is a country located in northern Eurasia. It is the largest country in the world by land area covering more than 17 million square kilometers. Russia spans 11 time zones and shares borders with Norway, Finland, Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, Poland, Belarus, Ukraine, Georgia, Azerbaijan, Kazakhstan, Mongolia, China, and North Korea. The population of Russia is approximately 144 million people, making it one of the world's most populous countries. The majority of the population lives in urban areas, with Moscow and St. Petersburg being the largest cities. Russia has a rich history, dating back to the Kievan Rus, a federation of Slavic states in the 9th century. Over the centuries, Russia has been ruled by various dynasties and empires, including the Mongol Empire, the Romanov dynasty, and the Soviet Union. Russia is a federal semi-presidential republic, with the president serving as the head of state and the prime minister serving as the head of government. The country has a mixed economy with state-owned corporations and natural resources playing a significant role. Russia is one of the world's largest producers of oil and natural gas. Russia is also a major cultural and scientific center, with renowned institutions such as the Hermitage Museum in St. Petersburg and the Institute of Physics and Technology in Moscow. The country is known for its rich cultural heritage including literature, music, and dance. The Russian economy is one of the largest in the world, with a gross domestic product GDP, of over $1.7 trillion in 2021. Despite facing several economic challenges in recent years, Russia has a number of strengths that contribute to its economic power. 1. Natural Resources Russia is one of the world's largest producers of oil and natural gas, and these resources play a significant role in the country's economy. The country is also rich in other minerals, such as diamonds, platinum, and nickel. 2. Strong Export Sector Russia has a strong export sector, with key exports including energy products, metals, and machinery. The country has also been working to diversify its exports, developing new industries such as aerospace and night. 3. Skill Workforce Russia has a highly educated and skilled workforce, with a large number of scientists, engineers, and other technical specialists. This talent pool is a valuable resource for the country's growing high-tech industries. 4. Strategic Location Russia's location at the crossroads of Europe and Asia makes it a strategic hub for trade and commerce. The country is also a member of several regional economic organizations, including the Eurasian Economic Union and the Shanghai Cooperation Organization, which further strengthens its economic position. Despite these strengths, the Russian economy also faces several challenges, including a reliance on energy exports, structural economic problems, and international sanctions. There are several reasons why the Russian economy has not been growing as quickly as it could in recent years. Some of these include 1. Sanctions International sanctions imposed in response to Russia's actions in Ukraine and the annexation of Crimea have had a negative impact on the country's economy. Sanctions have limited Russia's access to international capital markets, making it more difficult and expensive for the country to borrow money. 2. 
Dependence on Oil and Gas The Russian economy is heavily dependent on oil and gas exports and changes in global energy prices can have a significant impact on the country's economic growth. When energy prices are low, it can reduce the amount of money that the Russian government has available to invest in other areas of the economy. 3. Structural Problems Russia's economy faces several structural problems that make it difficult to grow quickly. These include a lack of diversification, low levels of innovation, and a shortage of investment in key areas such as infrastructure and education. 4. Corruption Corruption remains a major issue in Russia, and it can have a negative impact on the country's economic growth. Corruption can discourage investment, reduce the efficiency of the economy, and undermine public trust in the government. 5. Political uncertainty Political uncertainty can also have a negative impact on the Russian economy. Changes in government policy or tensions with other countries can create instability, making it difficult for businesses to plan for the future and invest in the country. Industry in 2022 avoided a recession with a rapid growth in arms manufacturing. Since the beginning of 2021, according to an estimate by an economic think tank close to the Russian government, the share of weapons of undisclosed value in Russia's industrial output has increased. Previously rarely exceeding 1-2% to of all industrial production, the output of military goods has increased in 2022-4-5% to to of all production. In wartime, the army needs more tanks, missiles, and shells. Military production helps the GDP, but has only a negative impact on the population's economic well-being. Owing to the uncertainties of wartime, private companies are reducing their investment programs. For example, Chernobylovka, a producer of soft drinks, froze its investment in new production facilities for 5 billion rubles and Severstal refused to buy a new gas turbine. The city of St. Petersburg reduced from 55 billion to 30 billion rubles its planned investments in new subway construction in 2023. Budgetary support for investment in 2023 will decrease by 10% from planned levels, but priority programs including spending on military equipment will not be affected. Already since March 2022, the auto market has experienced the hardest landing. Leading car manufacturers have left Russia, while Western suppliers of spare parts have been mostly banned or are observing the sanctions. Auto sales will shrink by about 60% this year, with only Chinese and Russian-produced cars available. Restrictions on imports of electronics and the ongoing chip crisis further narrow opportunities for automakers. The supply of components through third countries is a narrow stream as Turkey and other countries try to avoid running afoul of US and EU sanctions. Deliveries through Central Asian countries are irregular because these routes are busy and clogged with other goods and transport. Contrary to the expectations of Russian officials, Chinese automobile manufacturers are not in a hurry to open assembly factories in Russia, and the Chinese government is buying out foreign shareholders' ownership in such projects. The new production facilities will be developed on Chinese platforms. In the spring of 2022, the Russian central bank imposed a sharp increase in interest rates to stop inflation and keep the ruble from falling. This led to a reduction in mortgage lending by 21% in amount and 36% in the number of loans. For the sake of preserving lending, banks had to sharply increase the proportion of mortgages for which the borrower could offer only a small 10-20% down payment. The economic downturn and mobilization fueled an increase in bad loans. For example, in September 2022, non-payment on car loans increased by 19% over a month, 13% of such loans are now overdue. Mortgage arrears rose even more significantly, by 35%, during September. Increased uncertainty, lower incomes, the forced departure of wage earners abroad and mobilization have made it difficult for citizens to service loans. Mobilization has also hit restaurants, their revenue has been halved, cinemas, jewelry brands, auto services, goods for construction and repair, bookstores, furniture makers, and fitness clubs, all of which are losing male customers. In large cities, many dance schools and gymnasiums have lost their male teachers. They fled the mobilization. Many of them now teach classes in Kazakhstan, Armenia, and Georgia. In addition to declining demand for their products, many businesses are experiencing a shortage of experienced staff who have been drafted into the army. Yes, the ongoing conflict in Ukraine has had a negative impact on the Russian economy. The conflict has led to economic sanctions from the West, which have limited Russia's access to foreign markets, reduced its ability to raise capital, and resulted in a decline in investment. Additionally, the sanctions have contributed to a decrease in the value of the ruble, which has made imports more expensive and hurt ordinary citizens. The conflict has also led to an increase in military spending, which has put additional pressure on Russia's budget and economy. The decline in the price of oil, a key export for Russia, has also had a negative impact on the economy, and the country's overall economic growth has been slow in recent years. In addition, the conflict in Ukraine has created a climate of uncertainty. 
which has contributed to a decline in consumer and business confidence, leading to decreased spending and investment. The conflict has also led to a reduction in trade between Russia and Ukraine, which has had a negative impact on both countries' economies. Overall, the ongoing conflict in Ukraine is contributing to the decline of the Russian economy in several ways, including through economic sanctions, increased military spending, a decrease in the value of the ruble, a decline in investment, and a reduction in trade between Russia and Ukraine. That's how we wrap things up for today. Kindly like the video to help you two learn your preferences, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to hit that bell notification feature to stay informed when new videos are posted. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.